Well, I am so um, honored and excited to be here today with this community who are really leading the investment in computer science in our area. And we all know how important that is. Um, joining Peggy and joining Susan, I'm grateful for your friendship and your leadership. We all are here to make, feels weird to have this thing. I guess I could put this. I guess I could just put that right in there, you see? It's the kind of expertise you get when you work in technology. We all know how important this field of study is, both in what computer science gives us in terms of the products we build, the impact the products have in the world, but also opportunity for people. I am just so proud of Hadi and Alice and the team of Code.org. Hadi and Ali have been long-term friends of mine, really helped me transition uh, to Silicon Valley. And the work Code.org is doing, which is really transforming education and giving millions of students who otherwise would have no access and no exposure to computer science, I really believe can change our country. So congratulations to both of you and your team for your leadership. <laughs> the thing about jobs in technology is they are incredibly high impact, incredibly high paying, and incredibly flexible. And when you think about what people entering the workforce want, they really want the ability to make a difference. And I think all of us in this room know that there's probably no better field to do that than the field of technology. People also want, in increasingly economic uncertain times, job stability and the ability to know that they can always get a job. And no matter what's happening, really in any economy right now, anywhere in the world, the people who have more than full employment are the people with these technical degrees. Despite all of the concerns about unemployment we have in our economy and so many others, there is a huge gap in unfilled technology jobs, not just here, but all around the world. So if we're looking for the answer for economic growth, for financial stability, for families, getting more of our children into these fields we know is a huge part of the answer. It's also the case that when I think about what families need, women and men, to be flexible, to have both careers and personal lives, so that women are no longer, no longer say to women, you can't do both, something we never say to men. These are always, these are almost always the most flexible jobs you can have. We used to have a joke at Facebook that we, and it's not true anymore, but for many, many years we had this unbelievable programmer that really no one had ever met because he didn't like to work in the office with other people. But he was unbelievably productive. And for people in this field who are unbelievably productive, the type of flexibility we are willing to offer them and all the companies are willing to offer them shows how you can really integrate both a personal life and a professional life. So really on any metric, on anything we care about, whether it's society or opportunity or impact or having jobs or being able to balance work and family, this is an unbelievable field. The problem is we do not give equal access to people to get in there. 98% of the people majoring in computer science in colleges were exposed to computer science before they went to college. That's an amazing statistic, and that shows how important the work Code.org and so many people in this room are doing. We also have to think about not just getting the usual suspects into this field, but getting everyone into this field. Women were 35% of computer science majors in the 1980s. It's 18% today. Many years ago, I hosted a summer party for a bunch of the Facebook summer interns, and there were so many boys. It was like eight years ago. And I said to one of them, like, where are all the girls? And he looked up at me and said, there are more Daves than girls in my major in college. And I looked at him. I thought he was joking. He was like, no, no, I counted. There are this many people named Dave and this many girls majoring in computer science at my school. That's a problem, and unfortunately, one we are not making progress against. Same situation for the black and Hispanic communities. Only 15% of the people majoring in these fields are black or Hispanic. And so what we need is equal access to computer science education and to motivate and excite everyone and let them know that this is a field they can excel in, this is a field where they can really achieve, and this is important so that we get to equal representation so that the products we build 
reflect the diversity, not just of the people who use them, but of the people who build them. This is a really big priority for Facebook. We are putting large investments into funding, into training, support, and jobs. Uh, there, we have lots and lots and lots of programs, but I'll mention two I'm most proud of. The first is we launched computer science and engineering lean-in circles with Facebook, LinkedIn, the Anita Borg Foundation, and my foundation, the Lean In Foundation. And the idea, Lean In Circles are small groups that meet to support each other. Think eight or 10 people, even though we have one in Houston, that they say they have 200 and they say everything's bigger in Texas, so they don't have eight, they have 200. But it's any group of women or men who meet once a month together using the materials we provide for free to lean in, to support each other in their ambitions. A few years ago, we launched computer science and engineering specific lean-in circles to solve the problem for girls that they are surrounded by Daves and not by girls. So if there's only a few girls or one in their computer science class, they're in a group that meets regularly to support them. We now have over 250 circles and we're covering a huge number of campuses and we're grateful for the opportunity to work with those folks. We also are working on tech prep with McKinsey. We really studied what leads to a computer science path. 90% of parents who want their children to learn CS, but 77% have no idea how to pursue it. So this is an online resource hub designed to reach parents. We've now reached 1 million people in 50 states. And I know that Google and Microsoft and other companies are talking about making really important investments. And again, I'm so grateful to Susan and Peggy for the partnership our companies have had on this. We're at the beginning of our journey, and the opportunity for us to come here and celebrate the people in this community who are leading, who are making computer science accessible and open to the usual suspects we want everyone, but also to more women and traditionally underrepresented minorities. I'm really grateful. When I think about all the problems we face, and there are real problems right now, I think about what makes me optimistic. And what is core to being a technologist is that we believe that the future will be better than the past. Not perfect, not that technology will solve every problem, not that technology doesn't cause some of the problems. We're realists and we understand all that. But we believe fundamentally deep in our hearts that the power of technology is one that lifts people out of poverty, gives people opportunity, and brings us closer together. And that will continue to happen due to the great work of the people in this room for which we are super grateful. Thank you.